new chapter here. Um, we're talking about rates, ratios, and proportions in this chapter. Uh, this first lesson is on ratios, and just that you know, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities with the same unit. So they have to have units that are actually going to cancel each other out. Um, you can write a ratio in three ways. You can write it as A to B, so with the word to. You can write it as A colon B with the colon, or you can write it as A over B as a, fr as a fraction, um, where B is not equal to zero, so the denominator can't be zero. The other way that I think about this is if you have the word ratios, my paper just fell. Ratios are always making you think about fractions, so that kind of fits in there for you. So the first thing that you need to do in a ratio is to make sure that your units are the same. So centimeters and centimeters are the same. So we're going to write it 16 centimeters. I always start as a fraction and then go back to the original form. Centimeters over centimeters cancel each other out. So 16 over 8 is really just 2 over 1. And I know you would normally say just 2, but we have to have a comparison. So we still need the two numbers. This was written with a colon, so go back to that original form. Your ratio here is 2 to 1. In this one, we have 50 seconds to 2 minutes. Seconds and minutes are different, so I have 50 seconds. I'm going to have to convert minutes into seconds because this would not become minutes easily. If you can kind of think about that, it's not divisible by 60. So in one minute, there are 60 seconds, so in two minutes, there are 120 seconds. Seconds over seconds cancel each other out. I'm left with just numbers, 50 over 120, which is going to be 5 over 12. Rewrite final answer with the colon. This one I have 32 inches over 4 feet. Inches, feet. They're not going to cancel out this way. 32 inches will not convert into feet easily because it's not divisible by 12, so we're going to go to inches. In most cases, you're going to realize we're going to convert into the smaller unit. So inches would be smaller. So we're just going to make 4 feet, 48 inches. Inches over inches cancel. And now you can actually go ahead and simplify here. And you are going to get 2 over 3. We'll leave it as fraction form because that's how it started. So down here, a table at the right shows the results of a survey. Write each ratio in simplest form. So tacos, it looks like there were 14 responses. To pizza, which had 16 responses. So if you're thinking total, we have 30 responses here. So tacos to pizza, so 14 to 16. And we can simplify that to be 7 to 8. If I switch it around to pizza to tacos, I have 16 14, which would just be 8 to 7. Tacos to the total, 14 to 30. We can also write this as a fraction, if that makes you more comfortable, which will give us 7 over 15. And pizza to the total, which would be 16 over 30, which will give us 8 over 15. You could also write these out in words, 7 to 15. That would also be an option. These are where applications actually come in. These are the big problems here. In a class, the ratio of boys, of boys to girls is 5 to 7, so 5 boys to 7 girls. If the total number of students in the class is 24, how many students are boys? So when we're given a ratio and we're given a total, we can actually write an equation. So 5 times the number, 5 is the number of boys times x. That's our multiplier. 7 is the number of girls times x. And that's going to equal up to be 24 kids in the class. So 5x, 7x is 12x equals 24. Divide by 12, x equals 2. So that tells me is if I want to know how many boys, boys was represented by 5x, so 5 times 2, there were 10 boys in the class. In the next example, a vendor sold 64 hot dogs during a football game. If the ratio of hot dogs to hamburgers sold was 8 to 1, how many hamburgers did they sell? So this one's a little different because we don't know the total number of items sold. We only know how many hot dogs. So our ratio is 8 to 1, which is hot dogs to hamburgers. So hot dogs is now all the way up to 64. 
So we're thinking about multipliers here. 8 times what got us up to 64 times 8. So we do the same thing to this because the ratio of hot dogs to hamburgers has to stay the same. So we're going to get 64 to 8. So there were 8 hamburgers sold.